seatbelts on, fuel shutoff valve on. Some good collective friction. Disengaged circuit breakers in car is off mixture is full red light mixture guard on no primer landing lights off okay clutch is disengaged altimeter set counter switch is on so it's been run so do I need to Prime I'll do one uh, twist for prime. Okay. I do three at the start of the day and then one for each subsequent. Okay. Close, verify, closed. All right. All right. Okay, here you go. Clear? You are. Clear the left. Me? Yeah, I got you loud and clear. All right. Okay, I'm gonna roll up. Seven. Consider that just off the cane. There we go. Okay, we're talking about the Friday, 8-3 assembly, I'd have to do it, though. Yeah, 
inside the green three. Uh, eight, all right. Mike, Mike. Hey, Tar. Then Tom, run on three left. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. Left to the left. A little closer. Try left. I'll win. Come back to one, one thousand, two, one thousand. Good. All right. Garpied or a check. All right. So sprag clutch. I'm gonna check sprag clutch. Okay. Number eight, Mike, Mike, Roger, runway two eight left, clear for the option, after your option, left downwind departures approved, remain at or below 1,000 feet from right. Highway 92, and clear the class, Charlie. Is it really 27? Uh, he would tell you, yeah. yeah. There's a lower point of two eight left. Well, like so maybe, probably isn't that, that, that warm, it's probably just picking up engine heat. Let's take a look and see what our weather says. I suppose we could also just look at, um... 26. Uh, it says 21. 21? Maybe good idea. Damage. Damage. Just caution for multiple cranes in the vicinity. Take notice for details. Has this weather information for California and coastal waters available on flight service frequencies? The advisors contact the Avedis Hotel. Hotel. Air Tower Information Hotel, 10168 Zulu, wind calm, visibility 8, haze, smoke, sky condition 2,800 scattered, temperature 22, 2.15, altimeter 2988. Right now, GPS from which we left approach and use arriving at departing runways 28. Notice there, man, use caution for multiple cranes in the vicinity, take notice for details. Well, let's just say 22.7. 22.8. Okay. Yeah. It probably is getting a little bit warmer because this is about 50 minutes. It's old, so All it's right. probably up around 24 by now. Okay, so let's, yeah, let's say 20. 168 Zulu, wind calm, visibility 8. Yeah, that's eight, probably eight, the last eight, couple eight, degrees are just coming off the edge. 2,800 scattered. All right, hotel. Let's head to spot Charlie. Alright. Uh, air taxi or hover? Air Let's taxi. do an air taxi first. Alright. Here we tower helicopter 62 Sierra Alpha at Meridian. We'll press air taxi to spot Charlie with hotel. Helicopter 6220 Alpha Hayward Tower. Hover taxi via Zulu to spot Charlie. Hover taxi Meridian to spot Charlie via Zulu 6220. What does that mean? I got a hover taxi. 
Yeah. I think it's because that this look there, looks like they're going around. Helicopter 2, sir. Alpha, you did say you had hotel? Affirmative, hotel. Roger. So hover taxi is just, uh, you know, standard hover height and, well, we would say a brisk walking pace. You go a little bit faster if we want. Um, I'm guessing you didn't give us the air taxi because that guy's um, flying right there. That's all right. It gives you good practice hovering. Yep. I'm in ETL. Should I slow down a little bit? November 8, Mike Mike, runway 28 left, clear to land, wind calm. Runway 2 left, clear to land, 8 Mike Mike. Oh, good. Let's start off with a nice normal traffic pattern to warm up. All right. Hammer Tower, helicopter 62 Sierra Alpha, spot Charlie, request left traffic, spot Charlie. Helicopter 2 Sierra Alpha, left flow traffic is approved, spot Charlie, clear for takeoff, clear to land. Clear to takeoff, clear to land, left traffic, spot Charlie, 62 Sierra Alpha. When you take off, you can do it all with just the cyclic. Oh, okay. As you get fast, you get better performance, and you'll start to work your way up off the ground. November 8, Mike, Mike, stay parked. Turn left at uh, Delta, full short of taxiway Zulu and contact ground point four. Delta, short of Zulu and contact ground point four. Helicopter 2, Sierra Alpha, do not overfly the Cessna on taxiway Zulu. Cessna in sight. You don't have to go this far, but no. just um, avoid directly overflying it.
also a negative transition with the data. Tower did not overfly the helicopter on spot. Charlie, taxi away to Zulu, clear for takeoff, right crosswind departure. Zulu, right crosswind. All right, we'll let these guys depart before we make our call. All right. I want to see one more of those on the takeoff. Um, avoid using power to make the takeoff. Just kind of walk the helicopter forwards, feel your way into ETL, and then let it climb from there. Right. And on the approach, I think you held your speed just a little bit higher than you needed to for a little while. Um, and you also kind of descended down a little bit um, Was that soon. Kind of too right. shallow at the end? Yeah, exactly. Kind of came in early, right. and then you had to kind of taxi up to the spot. Okay. As you're making your way in, just um, keep adjusting the collective, um, you know, if the spot's getting more shallow, you more up collective, just keep tracking right to spot Charlie the whole time. And that's just accomplished by up and down collective. Um, you know, if you stop yourself with a cycle too early, then obviously you won't get there in the end. All right. But, you know, all in all, maintain that glide path of the collective and just try and bring yourself all the way to the spot and then slow down with the cycling. Let me to, should I be in, well, I should be in ground effect uh, when I... Um, you know, you'll kind of, uh, you'll be entering ground effect as you're exiting ETL. Those two things kind of happen at the same time, ideally. Uh, but really it should look just like a nice smooth blend. Uh, just a gradual, gentle slowdown. It's not all at once. Okay. Alright, whenever you are ready, go okay. ahead and make the call. Paper Tower, Helicopter 62, Sierra Alpha, left traffic, spot Charlie. Helicopter 2, Sierra Alpha, left close traffic, approved, spot Charlie, clear for takeoff, clear to land. Clear to takeoff, clear to land, left traffic, spot Charlie, 62, Sierra Alpha. Oh, don't okay, call. Well, a little bit. That tells you that you push too far forward. Oh, too fast. Yeah. Just work, move into it nice and gradual. There we go. See, so you're getting that performance now. Looks like our clock is a little lower than when we started. We can bring that back up. Oh, there we go. Just 
lift with the collective all the way into the spot. Alright, now here comes that up collective. If you start to slow down, you'll lose performance. So you gotta compensate for it with pitch. And just keep gently walking forwards. And there we are at the spot. Nice job. All right, That's what we're looking for. Alright, let's give a set down here. Alright. Get your carb heat down for you. Let's plan to do a max performance takeoff at a steep approach. All right. So we've got, looks like we're at 22 degrees. So we'll double check what that means for our five minute power. All right. Should come out to about 23 and a half. Three, okay, 23 and a half. Um, we got curb heat down. Okay, do my and mag checks. Yeah, everything is good. Yeah, exactly, we good mag check, check the, check the skids. Um, everything looks good. We're ready to go. And we'll get ourselves light. Mike, 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 what's your destination, please? Look at Paul, all the way up there, Mike. Helicopter 9 Hotel Foxtrot, what's your destination? Helicopter 9 Hotel Foxtrot. Helicopter 9 Hotel Foxtrot, Roger traffic left downwind for Palo Alto's assessment climbing out of 1000. Helicopter 62 Sierra Alpha, left traffic, spot Charlie. Helicopter 2 Sierra Alpha, spot Charlie, clear for takeoff, clear to land. Clear land, take, clear takeoff, clear to land, left traffic, spot Charlie, 62 Sierra Alpha. Okay, uh, eyes outside, traffic, spot Charlie, left traffic, smooth left. off the ground, and then oh, here, don't let that nose drop so much. Here we want to make sure that we cover as little distance as we can. We're going to make sure we get our power, and then just a little bit of ease forwards to get a little bit more speed. Won't take a lot, though, just a little nudge. And you can feel once we start to get a little more translational lift, that'll help us out a lot. And we'll continue to climb, just make sure you don't let it accelerate. There we go, and we'll take this all the way up to our 200 feet. Alright, from here we're going to bring the nose down, and we'll start to accelerate. Yeah, back within the HV curve. That's the traffic, no factor. Now the helicopter has you in sight. Figure see it's proof. Take care. Okay, we'll see you in a little bit. Thank you. All right, lights out top of the green. Green. RP, full car. All right.
Alright, let's play the door as deep approach. Let's hold our altitude. Wait till we get a nice angle. Once we decide to start the super approach, we'll give back cyclic and down collective to kind of lean back and get into the approach. So we'll start our super approach here. There we go. Let's hold about 30 knots. And adjust with collective as required to keep aiming for the spot. Slow down, or I guess you could, you could start slowing down here because we have our descent rate is less than 300. That actually is looking all right. And just smooth pull collective, help trying to prevent the helicopter from accelerating downwards. All right, car heat down. All right, there we go. Let's practice one more of those on the pickup or the master form uh, on the takeoff. I want you to come up a little bit more straight uh, this last time. As you pull, you brought that nose down. We kind of uh, started to accelerate pretty aggressively from the get-go. We just want to come straight up and then ease forwards into ETL, uh, covering as little ground as possible here. If it's not looking good, we'll come back up. Let's get it nice and steady, eyes outside, comfortable, and then little nudges down on the collective bit by bit, just to do the set down. There we go. Side looks good. Alright, it's good. Carb heats down, everything's all set. Sure it's the same. Alright. Alright. We'll get ourselves light. So eyes outside, smooth off the ground, and then from here, give me that up to five minute power. Much better take off. Just ease it forwards nice and gentle. Since we don't have any wind, we've got to get a little help from forward airspeed. There we go. Just feel out right to where it needs to be, and then right there you can see is where that performance takes over. So let's hold right at that speed all the way up to 200. There's 200, give me forward cyclic here. And we'll accelerate. Much better, nice job. All right, thanks.
All right, here's 400. Give me some left collective. We'll hold altitude. Start us to approach. So, gonna be back cyclic down collective, push down so you see that angle established, back into the spot, and then you're gonna level the nose here to hold 30, and just a little up collective as you do that to compensate for that, bring it down to the nose. There we go. Nice, tracking in towards the spot, airspeed's looking good. Just aiming for it with collective, holding airspeed with cyclic. that airspeed. All right, descent rate is above 300, so from here now you're allowed to slow down. And give me a little more up collective, don't let that descent rate get higher than 300. Let's keep walking gently forwards, we're not going to do a vertical descent. heat down for you. There's your power and we're in the ground effects. All right, that one also is looking better. Um, on the way in, make sure that you get your descent rate uh, less than 300 before you bring that speed down, uh, which we ended up doing, but I think that was, uh, I'm not sure if you were watching right specifically or not. Yeah, yeah. it was. But, okay. Uh, um, and then, we kind of saw we got a little bit steeper there towards the end. Um, so that just kind of comes down to playing with that relationship between uh, you know, when you want to make the transition from high descent rate, high speed, to low descent rate, low speed. Did I leave at ETL? I had ETL. Yeah. Yeah, you were below ETL for, at the end there. Yeah. Um, and then as we come in, we want to make sure we don't descend vertically. Um, that's kind of, that's one of the ways in which you can get into vortex strings. Okay, right. if, if that descent gets away from you, then it's just right there. Um, so it's always good to be continuing to walk forwards on their way in. Let's go ahead and practice some quick stops. I'll make our radio call and we'll get set up for that. Hey, we're Tower. Helicopter 2 Sierra Alpha request Zulu from Echo to Foxtrot for hover work. Helicopter 2 Sierra Alpha approved as requested. 2 Sierra Alpha. All right, we'll head on down. Winds are calm. We can do them both ways today. All right, so to recap the quick stop, um, we'll get ourselves into an air taxi. We'll establish and hold 40 feet and 40 knots. And we'll count down three, two, one, quick stop. And a quick stop, you will bring the nose up, flare the helicopter, down collective to stop the helicopter from climbing, and right pedal to hold the nose in place. As you're approaching a low airspeed, level the helicopter, a little up collective, and make that nice, smooth, cheap approach down for the, the rest of it. Our goal is to not gain or lose altitude in the flare, uh, but to only just descend afterwards. All right, all set. All right. Hey, we're Tower Archer, 32258, Coyote Hills, inbound with hotel. All right, there's our speed, there's our altitude. Give me a little down collective to level out, and 3, 2, 1, quick stop. Archer, 32258, full stop. Archer, 32258, here we Tower. Good morning, there, left base from 8 to Nice. Left base to 8 left. A little more up collective here. Just keep that uh, descent nice and comfortable. Yeah, got it. All right, let's head down. We'll do one more back the other way. But overall, that was looking good. You had good coordination between the cyclic and the collective. You were holding that altitude well. You could have slowed down a tiny bit more if you wanted to, uh, but where you leveled was, was also fine. Uh, and then on the way down, just make sure you use your collective as required to keep that descent rate nice and smooth and slow. Um, we want it to, I want, we want it to feel in control.
Let's level out. It's a little down collective to hold you in place. And three, two, one. Quick stop. There you go. Level out just a little bit more. Let's not descend vertically. All right. Again, flare looks pretty good. Um, and then. I'd say just level a little bit more, make sure that we don't slow down too much. Because oh, okay. we don't want to do a vertical descent. Okay. We want to be doing that nice gradual forward. Okay, don't really... Yeah, we're not coming to a complete stop. Well, at least not up there. Yeah. You know, we're going to wait till we're at the hover for that. All right. Take All right. one more and we'll be good to move on after that. All right. When you level out, um, I felt you pull back on the cycle uh, like the last two times. Cruiser is leaving in places. You want to keep your speed where it is. You're just pushing down collective to stop the climb. When we're first establishing the air taxi. and how much we can slow down. We could have gone a little bit slower than that, but that's oh, fine. Okay. I asked you to take a little bit faster than you did. Uh, okay. We can keep fine dating, but let's head back to uh, to spot Charlie. Oh, no, you're looking good. I like the coordination between the controls as you're doing it. Okay. Turn here and practice a couple straight in auto rotations. All right. When you are ready, you want to ask for left foot traffic. Ten Hayward Tower, Flight Six Zero Six Bravo Sierra is approaching. Uh, to a left at Zulu, we'll be ready here uh, for departure. Uh, six Zero Six Bravo Sierra, Hayward Tower, under standby. Hayward Tower, Hayward Six Zero Two Sierra, Bravo, left traffic spot, Charlie. Six Zero Two Sierra, Bravo, standby. To accommodate I part departing traffic, change to runway 28 right, runway 28 right, small runway clear to land, wind calm. 28 right, 258. Plus 606 Bravo Sierra, runway 28 left, full length, clear for takeoff. 28 left, clear for departure, 6 Bravo Sierra. Helicopter 2 Sierra Alpha, 5 year airborne after the plot is departed. Thanks, 2 Sierra Alpha. See what's going on. There's a one Pilatus waiting for his IFR departure right now. Oh, there he goes. Not even waiting. He's just taking off. Sierra, do you left hand turn, contact departure, good flight. Over to departure, some probes here. I got there, two Sierra Alpha, spot Charlie, clear to take off, clear to land. Clear to take off, clear to land, left traffic, spot Charlie. 62 Sierra. Okay. And we're we'll leave that collective where it is. And it's worked smoothly forwards with the side foot.
5A, turn right, set echo, contact ground, point 4, good morning. Cells between 60 and 70 knots. All right. We'll fly our pattern just holding our altitude and speed. Uh, we'll count, I'll count down the entry for you. We'll say three, two, one, enter. And when we do that, we'll have you lower collective, right pedal and a little back cycle just to hold the nose in place. It'll, otherwise, it'll want to drop. You just want to keep it from dropping is all. Um, is the same attitude uh, under power as in yes. the auto? Okay, so. Yeah, the attitude should remain constant. Okay. You might adjust a little bit, but if you do adjust, it's only going to be a couple degrees. It's really minor. Okay. I mean, so the aft cyclic is only just to kind of replace what you lost with the lower. Yeah, when it, because due to gyroscopic recession, whenever you lower the collective, the nose wants to drop. Um, so you're just counteracting that. Okay. You're just holding the attitude where it is. I got carburetor heat up for us. Um, and then, of course, after that entry, a little bit about collective to check the RPM, keep it in the green. All right, airspeed looks good. Tiny bit high, but that's fine. Altitude looks good. Enter three, two, one. So let's push all the way down, roll off. Nice job. 7 is 8 7 Delta X8 Tower. Geez, caution for helicopter operation to the spot, Charlie. Runway 2 8 left. There we go. Clear for takeoff, left coast traffic. Piece them down, collective here. 2 8 left. And a little bit. Off, left coast traffic. Those for speed, there we go. Around here, give me up, collective. Let's start that flare, nice and smooth flare. Now go all the way into it. And then we level and pull. There we go. So when we're doing the autos, we really want to complete that flare. So it kind of differs from a quick stop a little bit, and then you want to get yourself all the way down to zero if you can. That way when you touch down, you just go up straight down, as opposed to um, moving forward still. Okay, so we're going to be, so when you're in the flare, you're you're slowing the helicopter down, but you're also descending, right? That is correct. You you initiate the movement at 40 feet, and you want to end it around 10 feet. So you're letting the helicopter sink through the flare, and then as you approach that 10-foot mark, you're using more cyclic to level the helicopter out and hold that altitude. But once you're down there, then you're just going to burn off the rest of your airspeed at 10 feet before you level and pull collective. Okay. When you make adjustments um, to the collective to control the RPM, go ahead and make an adjustment and then pause and wait to see what it does. There's always going to be a delay. Um, so if you make an adjustment, it's going to take a couple seconds to actually take effect. So if you watch, you keep adjusting until you see it correct. By the time really? it moves, you've moved more than you need to. You've yeah. made an overcorrection at that point. Yeah, because I saw that it dropped kind of because I pulled Exactly, yeah. Yeah, exactly. You saw it was just a, a tiny bit high, and you were pulling up, and then you kept pulling up until you saw it come down. And by that point, the, the collective was a little bit higher than it, than it needed to be. Um, so it came back down. We had to correct again. Okay. So just make an adjustment. Watch it. See what it does. Um, once everything's stabilized, it'll tend to move pretty slowly. So you can you can kind of let it uh, just kind of sit and see what happens. Okay. All right. When you're ready, let's make our request, and we'll go again. Hey, Charlie. Hel helicopter 62 Sierra Alpha, left traffic spot, Charlie. Northwest 2 Sierra Alpha, traffic left downwind. 2 8 left is a serious in the pattern. Spot, Charlie, clear take off, clear to land. Clear to take off, clear to land, left traffic spot, Charlie. Traffic was in sight. 62 Sierra Alpha. 27 Delta X-ray, runway 2 8 left there for the option. There you go. Leave the collective where it is, and now smooth transition to forward flight. There you go. From here, you get a little bit more power freed up because you're no longer using the left pedal. Now we can pull a little more 
to start our climb. Lights out top of the green. here for RPM and watch that speed don't let it sink down yet I mean a little nudge forwards there you go nice you can feel just a little adjustment that's all it takes we're cruising down right here we're gonna give a little up collect just start that smooth flare burn off that speed flare 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 now level and pull there we go all right just keep an eye on that speed you got just a little bit lower than we wanted to be. Our target is between 60 and 70. As you saw, 50 knots is still plenty due to the flare. Uh, but you'll be more comfortable if you're going into the flare with a little bit more. So uh, my primary speed control is cyclic and my primary... Uh, that is correct. RPM cyclic is your is. only speed control. Okay, and then the uh, collective is my RPM. Yes. Uh, the cyclic also has a side effect on the RPM. As you pull back on the cyclic, your RPM will increase. As you push forward, it will decrease. There's the relationship there as well. Okay. Um, but you are mainly using the cyclic to control airspeed, mainly using the collective to control RPM. Uh, but there's just that relationship between the two. But the only way to control airspeed is through the cyclic. Okay. So it's better to try to settle into the airspeed, keep the airspeed up. Yeah. Because then, then you only have to mess around. Exactly. Yeah, once you get everything nice and steady, just a little minor adjustments um, will keep everything on track as you're making your way in. All right, let's go again. Okay. Here we're Tower Helicopter 62 Sierra Alpha, left traffic spot, Charlie. 27 Delta X, we're going to take left, clear for the ops. 2 left, clear for the ops. 7 Delta X, thank you. Two Sierra Alpha, spot Charlie, clear for takeoff, clear to land. Clear to takeoff, clear to land, left traffic, spot Charlie, 62 Sierra Alpha.
they get their altitude, then the airspeed, or, or am I supposed to be doing the same? Uh, altitude first, then airspeed is how I would go. Okay. Adjustment as you bring back from the cyclic, a little up collective. So you can see that relationship yeah. at play there. Airspeed looks good, RPM looks good. A little up collective, smooth flare. Work it out, keep going, keep going, keep going. Now aggressive level and pull. Here we go. As long as you're, as long as the nose is staying pretty straight, you're uh, okay. you're doing okay. All right. Well, because I'm kind of seeing it and then I come back. Yeah. Yeah. If you, if you see it twisting, you can always just use paddles to fix that at the moment. All right. All right. Let's plan to do one more. Okay. Those have been looking pretty good. It's a noticeable amount, yeah. but I mean, obviously we're still able to fly. Yeah. Yeah, I got to take off and watch Charlie clip take off clear to land. Clear take off clear to land left traffic.
Alright, lights on top of the green. Three and three, two, our people, our people. that much. There. We're going to adjust for our PM there. Over here we're going to give a little effective smooth flare. Flare, 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 flare. Now we level and pull. So you kind of felt me come in a little on the flare yeah, there. Yeah. Just to um, show how we want it to look like. You really get that nose up, otherwise you see your RPM start to drop. Oh. You got to hold the RPM up throughout the flare. And that's accomplished by uh, keeping that flare. energy, yeah, exactly. Um, you, and you can kind of feel it. The load should stay the same as you do the flare. Um, and that nice quick level at the end to make sure that um, we get the helicopter nice and flat before we touch down. Um, so you ran into a little trouble in the glide there with high RPM. After the entry, you let the nose drop and you started to accelerate. And when you brought the cyclic back, you uh, made the RPM oh. rise as a result. Okay. So that's why you know for that high RPM, you know, make sure that whenever you're adjusting with the cyclic, you adjust with the collective at the same time. Otherwise, you'll see the, the RPM fluctuate, either dropping down if you're accelerating or rising if you're decelerating. So if you pull back, you have to pull the collective a little bit. Yeah. All right. I think we're looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and ask them for left traffic to Meridian. We'll give one more... Uh, I'm going to take off one more normal landing. All right, thanks. Here we tower, helicopter 62 Sierra Alpha. Spot Charlie, uh, left traffic to Viridian. Sierra 7 Delta XA traffic on a five mile final is a plot. If you can extend the follow, I can offer you a 360. Which would you prefer? Extend, 7 Delta XA. Sierra 7 Delta XA number two, follow plot. It's report traffic in sight. One way to a left clear for the option. Sierra Alpha would like to make left traffic to Meridian. Spot Charlie, cover takeoff. So we got two Sierra Alpha, permitted. Alright. Spot 5, Delta Kilo, additional traffic. Uh, we'll be turning left down and landing left side of the runway at Small Robinson Helicopter. Roger. Sure. And we'll be going to Meridian as well. Hey, we're Tower, News Chopper 2, Taxiway Alpha, Beam Hangar 4 with information at L, requesting a right downwind departure. Those come back, we'll get our climb going. We got a little power to use as well. Thanks, 
Alpha, this is Zulu, clear to land, short approach, 2C Alpha. Alright, let's cut in here, can you get me down, flag zero. We're basically, we're just going to uh, get, around, we're gonna get ourselves down a little quicker than usual. Let's drop ourselves down a little bit more. Helicopter. Slow down. Just the five two more down. Collective form. Make a right cross and departure. Remain below one thousand five hundred till passing east of three crosses. From a two a right clear takeoff. Clear for takeoff to a right. Uh, Staying right. Oh, right pedal trim. Uh, right. Uh, two eight uh, right. Uh, two seven five. We'll get it. And just watch that speed in the descent rate. Right. Right. Slow we'll down. Yeah. Remain below fifteen hundred east of three crosses. From five two seven five. We go off this one too. We set the world down around uh, 235. All right. We'll go to 435 for our two minutes of cool down. approach is just a little bit different. We're, we just want us to hurry up and get out of that guy's yeah. way. Um, overall, it looks pretty good, but on your way, and do make sure you watch your airspeed and your yeah, descent was, rate. Yeah. What? 